Hi, I'm James Lang from Vorpalboard, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to get connected to a remote gaming session on the platform. The first thing that I'm going to do is open up my browser and browse to the Vorpalboard website. Once I've arrived at Vorpalboard, I'm actually going to make this a full screen window so that you don't have to see my taskbar. And then I enter in the six digit session ID that the host gave me to connect to the live session, as well as a password. Once I click join, I'll be joined to the session in progress. And here we are. Mike, good to see you. How's it going? Good. Hey, James. Uh, this is Mike Mady, the other co founder of Warple Board, and today we're going to be playing some Pandemic. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is turn on my video. Uh, we default to have video off, and then I'm going to position the board and cameras using a layout hotkey so that everything looks really nice. Um, and then, the, you know, something that you'll notice is that we're streaming in the tabletop. This is a real physical copy of Pandemic. And when I put my mouse over the board, I get a really, really close zoom of the screen. We do this by ultra high resolution photos, and it allows us to see the names of the cities and better play the game as if we're sitting in front of the table. You'll also see Mike's pointer moving around on the board, and this is the main way that we can communicate uh, positions and plays uh, efficiently without being able to sit next to each other. So he can see where I'm pointing and I can see where he's pointing. When I joined this session, you saw a couple of cards appear, actually four. Um, they are our character cards as well as the basic action cards for Pandemic, and they were pre-scanned before the game started. Uh, any of these cards are now interactable, so if I grab them, I can move them around, and Mike will see them moving around as well on his end. And so then he's going to grab his character and move uh, her, he's the researcher, move her over to the other side of the board. Any card can be scaled, and it can be rotated, and it can be flipped over. Um, just like a real card sitting on the table. I can zoom very close in on the cards if you want to see the quality that we're able to scan. Um, and then I can also do this just by using quick zoom, which is using the space bar. If I hold the space bar, any card that I touch will zoom in nice and close. And this lets remote players interact with the cards in a way as if they were uh, playing locally. Now, when new cards need to come into the game, uh, let's say I need to scan Mike his starting hand, and I'll do so. I'm just going to grab a card. I'm going to put it in the card scanner. And then you'll see how cards show up into the game once I scan them. And there it is. It comes in face down so that nobody sees what it is. And if Mike wants to go and actually select that card and pick it up, this isn't really appropriate for Pandemic, but it shows you how it works. Mike is able to see that card, but I am not able to see the card. So that's now part of his private hand. And this way we can maintain secrecy and play cards that have private hands, have card stealing, um, all the, all, any, any game that you need to keep something secret, that's how we handle it. Now, if he wanted to flip that over and show it to me, he would just double click it, uh, and now I can see it. And it was the Washington card that we scanned in. So at this point, we'd be ready to play. I would be scanning in cards, moving the pieces around, and Mike and I would be communicating with pointers. The last note to, to talk about, and it's not appropriate for Pandemic, is how we would roll dice. And the way that I would do that is I would go up into the dice drawer. I'm going to add a d6 to the game. And then the D6 is available to me right here. And then I'm going to specify that I want to roll three D6s. And then I'm going to go ahead and roll them. And uh, there they are. And there's a roll from Mike. So we have fully um, rendered 3D dice. All the dice results are shared. And then you can see the most recent rolls over here on the left-hand side. And so in that way, we can play dice games uh, virtually uh, without everybody having to have their own set of dice. All right, well, that was a brief overview of how Vorpal Board works and what it looks like to get connected to a session. If you want to see full-length plays of a lot of different games, you can check them out on our uh, YouTube channel as well as on our Twitch channel. And, um, and definitely reach out on social media if you have any questions. And thanks for checking it out. Mike, thanks. Bye.